So first we'll start with simple random sampling. This is, you can see the image and later we'll discuss about the image as well. Random sampling is generally the best and the simple way to draw a sample from the population. So you can see there's a population here and out of which they have selected two, five, eight, and 11. So that is a random number. So this is one of the best probability sampling techniques that helps in save time and resources. In this simple random sampling method, it is reliable method of obtaining information where every single member of a population is chosen randomly. Merely by chance, each individual has the same probability of being chosen to be a part of a sample. So again, we'll talk with an example, which will give you a better idea about simple random sampling. For example, in an organization of 500 employees, if the HR team decides on conducting team building activities, it is highly likely that they would prefer picking chits out of a bowl. In this case, each of the 500 employees has an equal opportunity of being selected. With random sampling, every member of the population has an equal opportunity to be included in the sample and get a pure chance is the only factor that determines who actually goes into the sample. So it is used to eliminate bias, both conscious and unconsciousness that researcher might introduce while selecting a sampling. Again, we'll take one example here. Suppose we want to choose 200 students at a random from a school. Here we can give each student in the database of the school a number between 1 and 500 and choose a random sample of 200 numbers using a random numbers generator. So you see in the population we have from numbers from 1 to 12. So what are we doing here? Choosing a random number between 1 to 12 and out of which we have selected, I mean, we have not selected. There is some test we have done and we have just taken out the number which is 2, 5, 8 and 11. So here basically we are getting a random number generator which is helping us to form our sampling size and get the data out of those who will be the representative of the entire population.